Back Day Survival Series, Episode 1. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're talking track day survival. What the hell does that mean, Des? Well, when you're at the track and you're at a race meeting, you need to finish the event to get the points, to get the girls, to take the victory. So you've got to do whatever you need to do to win the event. Now, if you have a problem, you need to overcome that problem and you need to do it quickly. So we're going to be running a series of problems that we face on race day and how we overcome them. Now before we get started, I'd just like to give a shout out to all the Patreons out there that are supporting our channel. If you like these videos and you'd like to see more and you appreciate the information, please feel free to head on over to Patreon and subscribe. You can shout us a coffee, buy some beers, do whatever you want to do. One-off payments, it's all acceptable and it's all excellent and we really appreciate it. Now on to the video. So first up on the uh, Track Day Survival Series, we're talking hub removal. Now. A hub stuck on the axle, that's no good. Hubs slipping on axles, that's no good. Hubs getting over tightened and damaged, well that's no good either. So in case in point today is we have a M8 cap screw with a six millimeter Allen key. Now it's rounded out because the person's been using say the ball end Allen key and a bit of over tightening. So now we can't actually get it undone. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to remove that cap screw from the hub, remove the hub, clean the axle, clean the hub, and put it all back together with a new screw. So as you can see, this is our rear wheel hub. Now it's on the axle, and we have a rounded out Allen key, and we can't get it undone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a couple of drill bits and a cordless drill, and I'm gonna show you how to drill off the head, and then remove the screw from inside the hub. Okay, so for this job, we're gonna be needing a hammer, a center punch, a 10 millimeter drill, a six millimeter drill, obviously the battery drill with charged battery, and also a couple of smaller drills like a, a three millimeter. So first up, we're gonna go down through the center of the Allen key with a six millimeter drill bit. And just remember kids, safety never takes a holiday, so put the safety glasses on first. So now that we've put a pilot hole down through the center of the bob, we're good to go through with a 10 millimeter drill and pop the head off the screw. So as you can see, there's a bit of a lip here on the, the screw where we've drilled it off. So we can't actually put this down through the hub. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spin the hub over like this and we're gonna put a center punch in the center of the bolt and then drill the screw back through the hub and let it come out through the where we were drilling before. Now if you buy yourself a little zip tie around the brake pedal, can hold the brakes on and that will stop the axle from rotating while you're drilling the hub. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna get our center punch and go as close to center as we can on this bolt. And we're gonna put a center with the hammer. So now that we've rotated the hub over, put a center punch in the bottom side of the screw, we're ready to drill it out. So now with a five millimeter drill bit, we're gonna just slowly drill into the screw. And as it starts to bite into the stud, it'll slowly spin it out the other side. So sometimes when you're using your drill bit, it'll grab straight away and push the stud out almost instantly. Other times you've got to drill all the way down through the center and when it gets to the end, it'll grab and start to drive the screw out. But that's why I say to use a smaller drill bit because if you're a little bit off center and you drill down through, you still won't damage the thread of the hub. So as you can see, the screw actually comes out with the drill bit and you can, I mean, this one's a little bit stuck. So you can just um, pull it out through this side. Sometimes this can happen when you first start drilling. Other times you've got to drill down right through the center. So that's why I say use that smaller drill bit. 
So now we can slide the hub off and put in a new screw. So another reason why some of those screws get chewed out is from using ball and T-bar Allen keys and also too from over tightening. Now to avoid hubs coming loose you need to keep your axle very clean. So grab yourself some brake cleaner and we're going to clean the axle and clean the hub and then we're going to put it all back together. So first up spray some brake cleaner on the axle and wipe off any of the oil and junk that's been on there over time and you can see how much oil has been on this uh, axle. And then spray some brake cleaner onto the axle and just let it air dry. As you can see this hub has some sort of dirt and oil and stuff build up on the inside. Now if it was severe and you had some picking up you can use some emery paper down in here to take the high spots off. But we're just going to use a bit of brake cleaner and a clean rag just to rub that all out. And then we're just going to spray some brake cleaner down inside the hub and let it air dry as well. So now we're ready to install a new screw. And install our clean hub on the axle. So these ones here with the ball have a tendency to chew up those screws and you're back to square one having to drill out the, the, the head of the bolt to get the hub off. So make sure when you're doing up your hubs you're using a T-bar like this without the ball. So that's the Track Day Survival Series Episode 1, How to Fix and Remove a Rear Wheel Hub on an Axle. Now, if this does happen to you, this is how you're going to fix it at the track nice and easy. There's other ways you can do it too. You can drill straight from the back side, you can use an easy out. Do whatever you got to do to fix that hub and get out there and continue racing. Thanks to everybody that's subscribed, given us a like, turn on those pesky notifications. We really appreciate it. it. And also too, if you haven't had enough of the House of Power, you can head on over to our Facebook or Instagram page at Power Republic, or you can go to our amazing website www.powerrepublic.com.au, grab yourself a t-shirt or a whole bunch of other stuff. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.